Hello YouTube, this is Satya. I welcome you all to Urban School Simulation Services. Now we are going to present a chopper circuit series. So this is the first part in the chopper circuit series. In this part I am going to discuss the basic chopper circuits and their theoretical aspect. In the next video I will show you the models of different chopper circuits. So let's start. As we all know that choppers are nothing but the DC to DC converter. That means they change the output voltage which we get across the load. So this is done with the help of thyristors. We do the forced commutation. As a result, the output voltage across the load varies. So further we categorize the DC to DC converters or choppers in as buck chopper, boost chopper and buck boost chopper. So buck chopper is nothing but the output voltage will be lesser or equal to the input voltage. Boost chopper is nothing but the output voltage will be greater than or equal to the input voltage. And buck boost chopper provides us both the facilities as it can work as buck chopper as well as boost chopper. So these choppers are uh, mostly used to control the speed of DC motor. So in the final video I will show you how to control the speed of DC motor with the DC choppers. The basic principle of DC choppers. As we can see here, the we are applying the input voltage here and if the circuit is closed that means the thyristor is uh, made on so the current will flow in this load and we will and it will get back to the source so that's how the circuit will get complete now here we have something called chopper it will chop the voltage input voltage and accordingly we will get the variable voltage across my load so the output voltage we have three parameters here first is vi that means input voltage vo that means output voltage and uh, v0 that means we have the average voltage here so when the chopper is on when the thyristor is on we will get the full voltage that is the equal to input voltage and for uh, when the this thyristor is made off we will get the zero voltage here and again we will get the full voltage and again zero and again full so this cycle will get repeats and as a average DC we will get this V0 so the average DC output over a cycle is T on upon T on plus T off that means the time for which the thyristor was on upon the total time into the input voltage okay. this factor is also called as D that means duty factor or duty simple duty okay now as the as we increase the duty cycle the voltage of the output voltage increase linearly the minimum uh, value possible for the duty cycle is 0 and the maximum value possible for duty cycle is 1 so that means we can vary the voltage from 0 to input voltage we have the maximum voltage up to input voltage now there are various methods to increase or decrease the voltage across the load here are two uh, very popular methods first is pulse width modulation and another one is pulse frequency modulation first we will cover the pulse pulse width modulation so as the name suggests that we are increasing or decreasing the pulse of the input voltage here let's say the for some time the thyristor is made on if we consider this time only then we will get the output v0 if we increase decrease the if we decrease this on time somewhat uh, lesser that means you can see the on pulse here is much uh, more than compared to this one so we'll get the uh, medium DC voltage here and if we further decrease the width of this pulse then we'll get very small uh, value of D that means duty and when this duty get multiplied by the input voltage we'll get the average output voltage 
okay now come to this uh, pulse frequency modulation here we increase or decrease the frequency of the cycles the width is constant but the frequency of width is getting increased or decreased let's suppose for this particular time in the first case we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 or 8 that makes like 4 cycles here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and uh, 7 so we have here three and a half cycles and uh, accordingly the cycles is going to be decreased so that's how we are varying the average voltage here here we are getting the maximum voltage somewhat lesser medium voltage and very less voltage here that's how we can control the output voltage across the load so now we are going to discuss the step down that means buck chopper buck chopper uh, it's a very simple arrangement we have a source here we have some thyristor element here then just to avoid the reverse uh, the inverse cycle of the voltage or current we have uh, this diode here and so lr load is here we have a inductor here we have a register here so first we consider uh, when the circuit is on that means the thyristor is on if the thyristor is on the current will go in this direction and at that time this particular field will be open because it is the it is at higher voltage and this thing is at lower voltage so there will be no flow of current in this element so now the current will flow in this direction and come here and again go to the voltage negative source now in the second case when the thyristor is made off so this diode will work as a short circuit because the potential is here more more than this this point potential so the current will flow in this direction now this power will be supplied by the inductor which has stored the energy during the charging time so there are two modes in which this can supply continuous current uh, mode and another one is discontinuous current mode so continuous current mode if we this is possible only when we think that the element uh, when we consider the elements in the ideal conditions that means the power supplied by the dc source is the power is equal to the power absorbed by the dc load or load symbol sorry so this is the cycles for the discontinuous current mode now we are going to discuss the boost converter or boost chopper so in the boost chopper we have the thyristor element here and uh, if we consider the on state the power supply the current will go from here it will charge the circuit here and we will get some output over here when the, the, uh, the capacitor is charged if the capacitor is not charged then we will get nothing here now in the off state when the this, uh, this switch is off so the voltage will have the single path to go from here and here it will charge the capacitor and provide the voltage across the register when uh, we need to come again to the on state let's suppose when the thyristor is made on the power supply will go this direction that means it will energize this uh, inductor only and during in this period the capacitor is already charged now this will supply to the load this will supply the voltage to the load and in the next cycle the thyristor uh, this inductor will, it will again get uh, some voltage across here and it will power to capacitor here is a simple comparison between the on state and the off state now there is one more what i have told earlier buck boost chopper so it will work as buck all as well as boost depend on the duty cycle so thanks a lot for watching this video now in the next video i am going to make some models and i will tell you how to work with them in matlab simulink so please do subscribe our channel it encourages us a lot it's all it means a lot to us and you can outsource your project to us please write us at contact at urbanschool.in thanks a lot again for watching the video